this is Jackie and Charlie Forsyth with your Halloween story today, Charlie and the Witch of Witchwood Manor. It was a beautiful day out. Almost like magic, the leaves had turned into lovely shades of red, yellow, orange, and copper. The air was cool, crisp, and clean. Charlie was an Amazon parrot with bright green feathers and a colorful tail when it fanned. He and his adopted parents just moved into the cottage in the neighborhood. Charlie loved it there. There were many places to fly to and wonderful children to play with. Everyone was good spirit and kind. Everyone, that is except for the neighbors on the corner living in Witchwood Manor. Witchwood Manor House was dark and looming. The surrounding trees had scary branches. No leaves grew on them and near them birds never sang. It was said that the old lady who lived there was a genuine witch, and she lived with an ogre that no one ever saw. You could only hear his footsteps. Thump, 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 thump. It really was quite frightening and all the children avoided it, especially on Halloween. When walking by, they crossed to the other side of the street. Whenever the old lady went to collect her mail at the post box, she loved to frighten everyone on her path. She especially enjoyed saying mean things and was quite the bully. Although Charlie had heard the children's stories about the witch, he wasn't afraid. The stories only made him curious. He had never seen an ogre before. He wondered what one looked like. One day, quite close to Halloween, Charlie's parents accidentally left the window open when they were out. Charlie knew this was his chance to fly over to Witchwood Manor and find the ogre. Charlie lit the latch on his cage and flew over to the window. Although it was a bit chilly for an Amazon parrot and a bit too windy, Charlie flew over there anyways. Uh-oh! He navigated his way over through the brightly colored falling leaves until he got to the trees with barren branches in front of Witchwood Manor. Luckily, or not so luckily, its old wooden creaky door was slightly ajar. Charlie flew inside. The door closed behind him with a bang. He could hear the sound of heavy footsteps. Thump, 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 thump. Truth be told, Charlie was a bit frightened. Where could Charlie hide? Too late, the ogre was already there. Charlie fanned out his tail to show his bright colors and tried to look big and menacing. Wait a minute. The ogre didn't look so scary after all. He was a rather small, wizard-looking man with lots of wrinkles and very big feet. Charlie looked at him. And he looked at Charlie. To Charlie's surprise, the ogre spoke. Pretty birdie? Then Charlie said, 
Hello. The ogre smiled, a crooked tooth smile. Me play with pretty birdie. All of a sudden, there was a loud creak in the door and lo and behold, in stepped the witch. She was all dressed in black with a pointy hat. She had with her a broomstick and a large canvas bag. The bag was full of vegetables, carrots, potatoes, green beans, and squash. She had been over to the farmer's market and was thinking about her next meal. She cackled when she saw Charlie. <laughs> you filthy feathered fiend. How perfect for my dinner. She dropped her bag and all the vegetables rolled down around the floor. She quickly grabbed the lid that had covered a small gingerbread house on top of a cake stand sitting on the side table. To Charlie's horror, he was then trapped underneath it. <gasps> Uh-oh. The witch cackled again. <laughs> Parrot under glass. How wonderful, plump enough to be perfectly delicious. <gasps> oh no, what trouble has Charlie got himself into now? The ogre wasn't happy about it either. Not for dinner, my birdie. As soon as the witch's back was turned, he lifted up the lid and Charlie flew out. As the witch started chasing Charlie, trying to bat him with her broomstick, she accidentally tripped over a squash and lost her balance. Charlie, who really liked his vegetables, loved them even more today. Charlie flew over to the witch's pointy hat and then bit her on her long pointy nose. The witch screamed and howled and the blood spurted out of her nose. The blood was a neon green color, even brighter green than Charlie's feathers. The ogre Fearing the witch's bad temper and unusual appetite, wanted Charlie to get away. So he opened the front door to let Charlie outside. Go home, pretty birdie. Charlie did just that. He managed to fly away and get back to his house just in time. His dad was coming home. Charlie gratefully landed on his dad's shoulder. What? Charlie? How did you get out here? Charlie said what he usually said when he got caught getting himself into a bit of trouble. I don't know. As for the witch, a most magical and extraordinary thing happened. Whenever she thought of something nasty she wanted to do or something mean she wanted to say, her nose would start to hurt. It would hurt and cause her so much pain until the thought of something bad was chased away. In the end, to the witch's chagrin, the ogre and the witch lived very happily. The leaves started to grow on the trees of the branches in front of Witchwood Manor. Flowers started to bloom and birds began to sing. The neighborhood no longer crossed the street whenever they passed by except for maybe on Halloween. 
Also, Charlie never again went into a stranger's house without his parents. It didn't stop him from getting into a bit of mischief, though. Charlie was an Amazon parrot after all. Thank you for listening. This has been Jackie and Charlie Forsyth from Saint City Studio wishing you a happy Halloween. Jack-o'-lantern, pumpkin spice, mixing smells so very nice. Scary witch with old black hat, even as a big black cat. And the dust starts leaking out of the water. Oh, God.